Is there anything else? Nope, that's, that's, there's tons um, more. Absolutely, there's tons well, more. But she has, like, a hunchback, and it's also, like, her spine is twisted, so she kind of... Did you hear me talking at the beginning of the program? I said the Wicked Witch of the yes. West. Remember yes. the Wicked Witch of the West? You probably don't remember the Wizard of Oz. You ever see, I don't know, 22-year-olds? Yes, I have. You, you remember the witch? She goes, I'm melting! Remember that part? That's yeah. what happens. That's what's happening okay. to your friend. She's melting! All right. It wouldn't hurt. You know, you want to throw one more thing in, get her on the one world way, but have her do it really slowly. Like, not, don't try to do too much all at once because it'll put a burden on her digestive system. Got to move, Tara. Thank you so much. God bless. All right. Let's go to Dave in Michigan. Welcome to the Bright Side, buddy. What's up? Hey, Ben. Love the show. Thanks Thank for taking you. my call. Sure. What's uh, going on? I got a young lady that uh, wants to take the uh, gallbladder cleanse, you know, the apple juice, uh, oh, olive yeah. oil, and lemon juice. I'm not a big but... believer in that. <clears throat> No, I did it. Yeah, and what happened? Did you feel better? Oh, my gosh. What did you do? Tell me what you did. Okay, I Because there's two different varieties of it. Did you do the olive oil and the apple juice one? Yeah, I drank, uh, for one day I fasted, and I drank uh, two gallons of organic apple juice. And then the second day I drank a third gallon in the morning. And then by uh, 5 o'clock that evening I had to drink four ounces of organic olive oil and four ounces of organic lemon juice mixed uh, within, I had to drink that, you know, uh, within an hour. Okay. And, yeah, it was pea soup the next morning. I'm not sure necessarily that you passed that. that had, were there stones in there? Yeah, yeah, like jelly beans. Interesting. Okay, and, then, and you feel better, and you felt better after that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I, you know, All I right. had an eye, a eye reading, you know, eye readologist. Yeah, yeah. And he it was told clear? told me that I needed to do a gallbladder cleanse. And after and the I, cleanse, after the cleanse, the yellow was out of the eyes? Um, I don't know if I had, she didn't necessarily say I had yellow in the eyes, but I did feel better. And okay. uh, she said right. I should do it a couple times a year. But this gal has uh, been battling uh, Candida for a couple of years. She was on Prilosec for 15 years. Well, that didn't do her. That didn't do her any good. The Prilosec suppresses stomach acid, and that can definitely cause a problem with Candida. Absolutely. Um, here's the thing: the gallbladder cleanse. You know, I have heard mixed results on it. Personally, I haven't seen any great results with it. But okay. you always go by your feeling. Don't worry about okay. what I say or what anybody says. Go by what you think, how you feel. If it works for you, it works for you. And I'm not here to dispute anybody's experience. Your personal experience should be always be the best guide, not what I say or what a doctor says or what you hear on TV or anything else. That having been said, if you have a problem with gallstones, that means you're not processing something correctly in the digestive system. Normal, healthy digestion. There's no gallstones. Babies and children don't have gallstones. It takes a long time for the digestive system to break down to the point where cholesterol starts to build up and, and uh, food doesn't get processed as well and bile becomes too concentrated, etc. So she yes, has appendix out at 10 years old. Well, that's, that could be a major cause of digestive yep. problems. The appendix is a warehouse for probiotic bacteria. So if you want to do the gallbladder cleanse, if you feel comfortable with it, that's great. And if you, you, know, you get benefits from it, awesome. More She's power to you. the sugar. You know, because of the candida. Yeah. Uh, you're not from the juice, you mean, from the apple yeah. juice and stuff? Yep. Yeah. it's a heck of a lot of apple juice when they right. do a gallbladder cleanse. Uh, but I, I, that's not her big concern. Her big concern is why is she not processing food correctly? Gallstones mean you're not processing food and maybe even processing hormones correctly. Usually means a bile problem. The bile is too concentrated. So a couple of things that you want to do. Number one, you want to focus on liver health. Liver is a digestive organ, so that means focusing on digestive health. As always, that's the foundation. Uh, see if she ha uh, can link up. Uh, she notice digestive symptoms and then link those up to problem foods. That's always step number one. The longest journey begins with a single step. And that means no matter what you're dealing with, the first, you, you want to start off step, you want to uh, approach it, the, the solution step by step. The first step is always going to be, the first step is always going to be look for and identify digestive problems, bloating, gas, heartburn, uh, diarrhea, loose stools, constipation, pain, nausea, anything in the digestive tract, link those to foods. Link your digestive problems to specific foods, then eliminate those foods. Second thing you want to do is get yourself on the uh, Bilumin Nightly Essence, a, a probiotic supplement, and eat fermented foods. Stabilizing the bacteria in the gut, especially if she had her appendix removed, is the step number two. Number one, eliminate problem foods. Step number two, stabilize gut bacteria. 
That means get on a probiotic supplement like the Nightly Essence and using fermented foods. Step number three, a focus on fat absorption. Bile is uh, responsible for helping the body process fats. If you have a bile problem, if you have a gallstone problem, you have a problem processing fats. That means use all of your fat absorption, fat digestion, fat digestion supporting nutrients, and that includes lecithin, which is actually a component of bile. You can actually use bile salts. You'll get bile salts in the ultimate enzymes. She should probably be using the ultimate enzymes after all her meals. Apple cider vinegar can also support digestion, uh, fat absorption. Actually, can support all digestion. Use apple Bragg's Organic, by the way. Bragg's Organic apple use. cider vinegar. It's the best. Uh, and use it after meals with the digestive enzymes. If she wants a couple more things, she can go get something called pancreatin, which is pancreatic enzymes, P-A-N-C-R-E-A-T-I-N, pancreatin. And then maybe she wants to try something called betaine, HCL, which she'll, she'll get them in the ultimate enzymes, but she can use some extra, and that will help acidify stomach contents and improve the uh, secretion of bile from the gallbladder. So much more you can do, but that, that's a great start, and that's all the time we have for today. Anyway, thanks for the kind words, Dave. Appreciate it. I apologize if we left you on hold. Please call back uh, on Monday and tell our call screeners that we left you, call screener that we left you on hold, and we'll get you first up. On Monday, we'll continue talking about the aging pigment. We'll tell you uh, some more stuff about vitamin E. I love vitamin E, man. That is an incredible, incredible nutrient that most people are deficient in unless they're supplementing. And then we'll talk about another supplement that you can use for lipofusion and the aging pigment. And this is a supplement that's great for your skin, great for your brain, may help you if you have Parkinson's disease and movement disorders, and it's awesome for helping cells drain out aging pigment or lipofusion. We'll tell you about that in our next Bright Side episode. Check out my blog, PharmacistBen.com. Click on the Join the Team link at BrightSideBen.com and join the Bright Side Ben team. Love to have you aboard. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, beautiful day, folks. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone at 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. It's hard to imagine when things are going reasonably well, just how quickly things can change. But what would it take? Economic collapse? Massive crop failure? Chemical or biological attack? So many situations could find you in the grocery looking to pick up food for your family only to find that the shelves are empty. There's nothing. Don't let that happen. Act today to make sure that if it ever comes to that, you and your family will be provided for. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com to look at the wide variety of survival foods available. Freeze-dried foods from the Freeze-Dry Guy store longer, rehydrate faster, are nutritionally superior to, and taste better than any other long-term storage food available. Visit FreezeDryGuy.com or call toll-free 866 404 Six six three. Freeze dry guy dot